Hi, this is Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover how to scrape your competitor's backlinks. Now, the obvious way to scrape competitor's backlinks would be to use the backlink checker add-on. So, what I'm going to do here is just actually put in a website here. So this is just one of the websites that I have for facts. I'm just going to paste it here. That way I can pull it into the add-on real easily. So if I go to add-ons and the backlink checker add-on, and let that load up here. And then I'm going to pull in from Scrapebox Harvester. You can pull it in from wherever. Obviously, generally, you want to use proxies, but I'm only going to use one site. Um, the backlink checker add-on, of course, I have another video that explains it. You can hit start if you want, but you don't have to. The start will just bring up a count of backlinks. That's all it does. Um, but then you can hit download backlinks, and you can save it as a text file or a CSV file, and it's only going to save up to 1,000 backlinks per domain. Doesn't matter if you put an inner page or anything. So if I had scrapeboxfact.com forward slash page one dot htm, it doesn't matter. It's still going to pull the backlinks for the home domain only. That's just how the source that this connects to works. So you can choose your number of connections, that sort of thing, and then you can export um, if you like. The export is just exporting the count of URLs and then downloading backlinks. But if you just want to download backlinks and you don't want to get the count, just load up your URLs and hit download backlinks and just save them. Don't even hit the start button. So that's option one. And that's pretty straightforward. You're going to download the backlinks, but you're going to get a thousand max per domain. And obviously if there's less than a thousand, you get less than a thousand. The other way is a little bit more crafty. So if I have this, for instance, scrapeboxfact.com, that'll appear in the HTML content that say Googlebot, for instance, and I'm just going to work with Google here, um, that Googlebot would see in the HTML. So if I search for that, it can come up in Google and show me pages that have that. Now, some of them will be text only. They won't be a link. It could show dead links. It could show all kinds of things. But what we're going to do is this. I'm just going to bring up a web browser here so we can kind of see the fundamentals here of how this works. And let me stretch this out to the window here. And so if I wanted to type in greatboxfact.com in quotes and bring the results. I'd have 38,000 results, but you can see I have the actual website itself in there as well. So what I can do is minus out site greatboxfact.com. Now I've got 220,000 results. So this is uh, what Google says. Now they aren't always accurate. Sometimes when you go to scraping them they're going to turn around on page 3 and say oh you only have 300 results. But you get the point. There's a lot of results here. A lot more links than what we saw on the backlink checker with like 2,000. So Google obviously knows um, about all the links out there that it has spidered. So using this method this will allow you to get some of the backlinks that don't show up in backlink checkers or that sort of thing. Of course, if you have a service out there you want to pay, there are services that spider the web and you can pay for these backlinks, but this is using Scrapebox to get them for free. So, obviously, I'm not going to get 220,000 results. I can only get a max of 1,000 from Google. So, um, I'll talk about how you can get more results here in a minute, but you also want to know first that it can vary. So, this is just the root domain. I've got 220,000. If I add www in here, that number changes to only 10,000. If I add HTTP colon forward slash, that number changes again, and we got 3,600. If I do HTTP with only do the domain, now I have 2.5 million. So you can see that depending on how you do it, you're going to get different results. So what I do is I just made a little footprint that I save off in a text file and then I can use the merge feature in Scrapebox to merge them in. But let's look at it. So the percent %kw% percent is a token that you can use in a text file that allows you to use the M merge button here. And anytime you do this, any keyword that you put in Scrapebox will be replaced. This token will be replaced with keywords. So what this is essentially going to do is I'm going to type in straightboxfact.com and anytime this is in the keyword box it's going to get re and I merge this file it'll get replaced so it'll put it here and then the minus site here just like we have in our actual web browser but we can get all four of those instances which will give us 4,000 uh, potential links per domain 
which is nice because that ups it to 4,000 um, and it'll replace these. So let's see how this works. So I went ahead and put just my domain name in here. Get rid of this slash here. And then I'm going to hit the merge button. And I'm going to select just the sample file that I put those four footprints in. We can actually view it right quick. Um, it is just a text file with those footprints I just showed you. And we're going to select that. And you can see it brought in our footprint for the first one, which is just the domain. And then the second one is with www, and then with HTTP tp and www and http and no www and then it minuses out the site on all of them so now if i scrape i can get 4000 results of potential backlinks now it's probably good to stop at this moment and say that um, those 4000 results again aren't all going to be backlinks some can be deleted some can be just text they're not all going to be links so at the end of the day when we're done with this scraping if we really want to find out the true backlinks that are still there we're actually going to have to run the link checker down here put in the domain name here run the sites here uh, load the sites in here that we can scrape from Google and just run the backlink checker and see how many of those links are still alive now technically if you want to get links from uh, third-party source that you buy or from the backlink checker that doesn't guarantee that some of those links aren't dead since the last time those things updated so if you really want true current backlink counts then you can still run the link checker but when we're scraping from Google it's especially important because a lot of these links are going to be you know a good portion of them aren't going to be legitimate because they were text or they were dead links or whatever so that gives us that now what we could do to take this a step further to get more than 4,000 links is to merge in to start adding things on the end of this. So I can start adding the word car, for instance, and I can add the word car to all of these. And then anytime the word car appears in one of these links on a page with one of the links on it, then we're going to get that as a result too. So basically, we saw Google had thousands and thousands of links depending on how we pulled it up. We're kind of just twisting the results so that we reorganize them because they're only going to give you a thousand as it stands but by adding in other keywords like car truck boat grass house rocks whatever you name it the alphabet the letter a the letter b one two three etc we're going to get different results that include those words so it's just pulling different sets of results out of those thousands and thousands of results now we'll get a lot of duplicates so we can remove duplicates at the end but this will allow us to get more than just a thousand results so what I've done is I have actually taken and gathered several things one I gathered the alphabet pretty basic A through Z I gathered the most common numbers used in writing in the English language that are written on the web I gathered the most common words the top a thousand or a couple thousand words that are used on the web in writing I also gather gather the most common dates that have appeared and a few other things so I put together what I call a reasonable list for merging together and I use this for all kinds of things uh, that list of keywords but um, I put it together and I tacked it onto my footprint so that when I merge it together it looks something like this so if we clear out everything except for our original domain there and we merge in this whole list we get everything through here all over the place with all these words on the end of it now I've got 4580 possible results times a thousand so that's roughly if my math in my head is right 4.5 million potential backlink results that's a lot of results obviously you would not get that but um, and that doesn't guarantee that there are out there that many but with with a list like this we're gonna get the vast majority of any backlinks out there so you can grab a domain merge in this text file and then you have all these things and then you go ahead and scrape Google and then you grab your backlinks from the backlink checker add-on to merge it all together remove duplicates run it through the link checker merge it all together here or you can use the dupe remove add-on which you'll probably need to do um, and pop that open and you combine all the files here I have another video on this if you want to watch how this works it's on the same YouTube channel um, and you can remove duplicate URLs here and then you can split it up if the files are larger than a million URLs I like to work with 500,000 chunks just because it's convenient and then you can load them all in the link checker run the link checker see how many links are live and go to town so let's pull just one here I'm just gonna show you a quick example of how this would work so if I go ahead and scrape these results um, and I'm going to put this out to a thousand. So I'll pause the video while it runs here. 
and let that scrape a thousand results. So we've got our 999 results. I'm going to transfer this down to the blogs list, which is down here. And I've already had went ahead and put in here scrapeboxfact.com, just the domain itself. And let's hit check links. Now, this isn't 100% perfectly accurate because, again, if this text does appear on the page as text, then it could be a false positive. Um, if you wanted to get super fancy and you're an advanced user and you understand how the page scanner works and how an, a real regular HTML link works with like the A uh, space href equals the link space, you could use some HTML snippets and put those in as footprints in the page scanner. Um, you would rule out a lot of things because some websites format links differently so you might lose some links but at the end of the day you'd be checking this is only checking the page for the text of scrapeboxfact.com. It's checking the HTML. So it'll find links and it'll find other things. So if you were to use the page scanner with actual HTML to check for the link, if that makes sense, something that would look more or less like this, and you put that as a footprint in the page scanner, then it's actually going to look for this format of HTML. Uh, and that would rule out if there was actually just the text of the domain on the page or that sort of thing, but it's actually going to look for the HTML. Now you want to make four of these, one with this, or two of these rather, one with this and then one without the www because it's always going to likely have the HTTP here. But um, So you can throw those in the page scanner. If that doesn't make sense, um, that's a bunch of extra work. Uh, and really I would say if you're an advanced user, go for that. Otherwise, um, this is going to work plenty good for most people. You can see we found 150 links out of 250 and you can kind of tell um, for instance when I have things like let me just abort this here because we don't need this to run all the way. If you're looking at the uh, anchor text here and we see something like this it's a URL anchor text it's probably legitimate. This sort of thing where it's like info forward slash great box and then we see prices that might not necessarily be a real link um, and we can see sometimes um, where it'll have a different, you know, different URL in there where this is on the end of it sort of thing. Obviously that is, might not be a link unless it's like a 301 or something like that. But um, you can see a lot of them could actually be legitimate links as you go through there. So if you want to filter through them, you can. Uh, but that is a basic way of how you can pull back links and I'm talking about dealing with mass here. If you're looking for real specific backlinks, just use the backlinks that come from the backlink checker add-on. Get your max of 1,000 and move on. If you're looking for a mass of backlinks that a site has, so you can try to emulate those, throw them into Scrapebox and copy their links, or do whatever you're going to do with them, or you're trying to pull some of your own backlinks so that you can just throw a bunch of mass links at those and kind of beef, beef up your own backlinks, then we're talking about mass. If we're going to scrape 4.5 million results from Google and then filter them down, I'm not worried about false positives. I'm just going to throw the mud against the wall and see what sticks. So this is a mass concept. The other one with the backlink checker add-on is a little bit more specific and giving you, you know, probably more quality links that you're going to get there. So that's what you can do. You can merge it all together and scrape a ton of results, run them through the link checker, see what you get, and then do what you want to do with them from there. Um, I debated for a while whether or not I wanted to give this away, but then I decided to go ahead and give it away. So this uh, list took me quite a while to compile uh, all of the common words and dates and numbers and alphabet, and uh, obviously the alphabet didn't take very long, but um, and put this all together here, this merge file. So in the um, description of the YouTube video here, I'll have a link where you can download this for free and uh, go ahead and throw your site in here and merge. Go to town, scrape all the results run them through the link checker and you'll have your competitor backlinks. A final note would be this obviously uses the site operator and when you start throwing uh, footprints like this at Google uh, they are going to ban your IPs, your proxy IPs faster than if you're just using basic keywords like car, truck, boat, house, etc. So make sure that if you're using private proxies you've checked out my other video on that uh, how to safely do that I would do like a 1 to 10 ratio on something like this if you're using public proxies uh, you know then just use them appropriately um, probably turn down the connections some so that you don't burn them out so quick because you're using a lot of advanced operators and that is how you can use Scrapebox to pull your competitors backlinks or your own backlinks <laughs>